rank the Thors. Uh, you've seen them all now, so why don't you go ahead? And, yeah, go ahead and put. Give me your listing of the Thors, so our audience knows where to put them. Yes, well, I mean, Love and Thunder is is number one for sure. It was, it, I, I, I wasn't always a huge Thor movies by himself fan as much as as some of the other characters, but this one for sure is number one. I put the original Thor as number two because it gave us that um, gave us a lot of that origin story that we needed. Ragnarok is third because that was, you know, Taiki's first um, attempt and it was explosive and it was colorful and it was funny and it was it was good, but it wasn't as good as Love and Thunder. Yeah. And then the last one is Thor 2 because I don't know, that, that one just seemed, I don't know, I didn't like the villains, I didn't like the... Yeah, I'm I'm never a big fan of all the the super out of space stuff, and yeah, you know this one was just uh, definitely ventured further into it. But kind of like you're saying, I it was very okay, you know, Hall of Okay, uh, didn't didn't move the needle for me really. It served I, I didn't purpose, it. but it didn't add a yeah, lot. Yeah, I didn't to hate it. it. I didn't hate it, but didn't like. I mean, I never saw it actually, so I saw the rest of the entire, you know, rest of the entire. Um, MCU's. This was the only uh, Thor two was the only one I, I did not see when it came out. Uh, right. I eventually I just, I just literally just saw it. But um, yeah, it's just it's okay. Nothing to write home about. So we have yeah we have the same exact list. So Love and Thunder, the original Thor, Ragnarok, and then Thor two. So awesome. 